Boolean operators part two. So now this time, rather than using numbers, we have variable, variable A is equals to a string, which is enclosed with double quotes, with variable A, which is Mario, and variable B, which is also Mario. If I were to print A equal equals B, which is asking the question, is A the same as B? And here we have them both being the same value, so the answer is going to be true. Let's go to run, run module. The answer is true. Now, of course, if variable B was something like Luigi, Mario is not the same thing as Luigi. So if I print does A, does Mario equal Luigi? The answer would be, so let's run this again, false. Now, what if we were to say, does, uh, this is a review from last lesson, is Mario not equals to uh, Luigi? Indeed, Mario is not equals to Luigi. So this overall result, the Boolean result, would be uh, true. So let's click on run. Or F5, and it's true. Now, let's uh, try uh, something new. Let's try going back to numbers. I'm just going to say 10 and then choose the numbers uh, 10. I'm going to say print A, uh, and I'll have a variable C is equal to 10. I'm going to print, uh, I'm going to say uh, A equals b and b equals c. So the boolean operator here and uh, is, uh, it's, it basically uh, only evaluate this overall boolean result evaluates to be true only if both if both the left side condition is true and the right side condition is true. So here the question is does a equal equal b? It does. 10 is equal to 10 and does b equal equal c? So here we have um, 10 does equal to 10. So we both have true and true. So here, this let me just uh, write this note down. True and true evaluates to true. So this is the overall result. Let's try something else here. I'm going to just give you all the answers here. Uh, every other possible case is always false. So here, true and false evaluates to false, and then true and, sorry, false and true evaluates to false. False and false. This is the tricky one. So just, just memorize this pattern rather than over, over uh, confusing yourself and complicating things by, by uh, thinking in a different way. Evaluates to false. So just you have to memorize this. The only time uh, for the uh, boolean operator and the boolean result to be true is when they're both true. So let's let's try this idea out here. What if I have variable c equals to 20? So here a and b, yes, they are equal. So this is true and b equals c, no, this is false. So this is true and false. So this here should be the re overall result. The overall result should be false based on what I just showed you previously. So when I run this, yes indeed it is false. So let's try one more situation here. Let's make them all false. So here I'll go 10, 20, 30. So here A does not equal to B. So this is false so because 10 is not equal to 20. What about B and C? 20 is not equal to 30, so this is also false. We have false and false. We know the result of false and false is false. So let me save it, run it. Yes, indeed, it is false. So let's try one more now. What about the or statement? Or. So here, the way the or statement work is, works is this. If you have uh, true or false, you get true. What if you have true or true, you get true. Let me just uh, move this up here. What if you get false or true, you get true. False or false, and then you get false. So here, for the, for the uh, logic uh, statement or, the logic operator or, um, the only time it's false is when they're both false. It looks at the left side, condition and the right side condition and the only time that 
uh, basically it's always true unless they're both false so you need to memorize this so let's apply that what does that look like so here does uh, a is 10 b is 20 are they equal false let's use the word uh, false true and false rather than yes or no what about b and c 20 and 30 uh, are they equal false so false or false the result should be false so let's run it and the result indeed is false every other condition it is going to be true so I'll just make this uh, a 10 a and b indeed it is true and this is false so true or false will be true so let's run it it is true and let me show you one more let's make them all the same so yes this is true a does equal b and this is true uh, b does equal c so here we have true or true and the result is going to be true. Congratulations, you now have some more insight to Boolean operators, specifically the, the keywords OR, OR, and AND.